hello guys welcome back to my channel i am tizzy sales if you are new here you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you for the love thank you for the support so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do your foundation right how to do your highlight and how to do your contour so this is the finished look so if you'll be interested in watching this video kind this is what you'll be interested in you even be interested so no need looking at my face you'll be interested so if this is what you'll be interested in keep on watching make sure you watch <laughs> I'm starting off by using Ezekiel foundation. I use a pump and half. Guys, let me tell you, if you have a good skin, you don't have to use a lot of foundation or a lot of concealer on your face. To get your foundation right, apply the foundation from your jawline down to your neck. The one that matches your neck is the one you should use for your face because you don't want to have a light face and a dark neck. You also need to blend well. Don't be in a hurry to blend. Don't put the foundation once on your face if you are a beginner or if you don't know how to blend just apply at a time you can see right now apply at a time and blend apply at a time and blend take your time blend well no ash lines in 2022 if you have been blending your foundation wrongly apply the foundation on your face in section do not swipe the foundation on your face. Use your beauty sponge to part, spread, and blend. To part, spread, and blend. Watch as I continue to blend. Then we can move on to the highlight and contour. Then finish the rest of our face. You sure do like to show your opinions, talking big like somebody's listening. Nobody's listening. It's so fun and games and till it doesn't toss me out. I hit the ignition. sponge here to further help me press the foundation into my skin and also it can remove any excess foundation and still blend my foundation well so moving to the contour use two shades darker than your skin tone for your contour and apply on your cheekbone then when you are blending you are going to blend upwards on your cheekbone I didn't blend my contour yet because I want you to see the places I contoured and places I highlighted. So I contoured my head, my forehead, my cheekbone and my jawline. Then also for highlighting, I highlighted under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid, then my chin. I forgot to mention why applying concealer under my eyes, I used three shades of concealer. The first shade was three shades lighter than my skin tone. The second shade was two shades lighter than my skin tone. The first shade was a shade lighter than my skin tone. So it can help me blend easily. In between my highlight and my contour, I added blush on my face. I'm going to proceed to blend them now. But before blending, I sprayed water on my face to hydrate my skin so I can blend easily. So while blending, I use my foundation brush to blend my contour and I'm blending upwards. See the way I'm blending it upwards. And also while blending my forehead, I'm taking it to my airline and bringing it forward to my forehead also. I don't know if you grab, but if you grab, say I grab in the comment section. <laughs> so let's get to the concealing part. I'll be using my beauty sponge for this part. I'll be using the pointed area of the beauty sponge to blend. And I'm blending around the concealer first before going on the concealer and I'm not swiping and I'm tapping gently to the other side of my beauty sponge to blend my nose contour i also use the same side of the beauty sponge to blend my blush also it's 
Can you see the way I'm blending the concealer under my eye? I am tapping and blending it onto my skin gently. I am tapping and blending, tapping and blending. And blend upwards too. We but we're not the same. No, we're not the same. Boo who poor you, please forgive me, cause I don't feel any pity. I'm fed up with lies you want in my demise. Now you're watching me rise, rise, rise. Up in the window, smaller and smaller, you fade out. The setting powder that it's two shades lighter than my skin tone to set my under eye. I'm applying into places I applied concealer. I'm pressing the powder into my skin. Applying powder contour to my face, to my cheekbone area, to my forehead, and to my nose, and to my jawline, before setting the rest of my face with my powder shade. Sorry, but we're not the same. No, we're not the same. Boo, who poor you? Please forgive me, cause I don't feel any pity. I'm fed up with lies you want in my demise. Now you're watching me rise, rise, rise. Up in the window, smaller and smaller, you fade out. Right here, I'm just using powder to emphasize more on my highlight because I didn't bake. I already have my eyeshadow on, so there's no need for me to bake. And if I still want to bake, since I have my eyeshadow on, I can still bake, but there's no need for that. I have a tutorial on how I achieved my smoky eye look. The link will be in the description box below, so you can check it out. And I'm also going to do the rest of my makeup off camera, like applying my highlighter and lipstick. You get a I am doing a reverse contour here. Yeah. Reverse contour helps to lift up the contour on your face. Use your setting powder for this process. So fun and games and till it doesn't toss me out, I'll hit the ignition. Are you listening? Hop up, up in the window, smaller and smaller you fade. To finish up with the smoky eye look, take a small brush, apply a black shadow under your lower lash line. After doing this, take a blending brush, a small blending brush, then dip it into your brown eyeshadow then blend it out when it gets to the outer part of your lower lash line blend it out upwards to give you the smoky effect this will make it lift up your eyes also apply mascara to your lower lash line to make a difference this step is optional my socials and will be on the screen follow me on instagram at tzglit and tzsouth if you have any makeup suggestion you like to see from me comment in the comment section and i'll deliver if this video was helpful to you in any way kindly give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed comment in the comment section and also share my videos to your friends and family thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial uh,